what is going on youtube how you doing welcome back to a video of how to pro loop in prop night all right so we're gonna go hop into solos i just created a game i go practice i turn into a survivor and what's up here we go we're good so this is your usual spawn point in prop night this is one of the pro loops that i know best uh basically and it, it's, a, it's, it's a situational area map on, on this map you just a lot of the times you just want to get lost in the corn you know what i'm saying you want to turn it a rock go 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 get lost in the corn you know you're running around Boop, turn into rock, killer's on you. Oh no, run in the corn. Run into the corn. Corn is so easy to disappear in. It's very hard to get seen. Corn is OP, 100%. Also, scarecrows. <laughs> Killers will actually, the, the same way I can't walk through a scarecrow, killer can't either. So if you're a rock, you can really use that to your advantage and use these scarecrows to kind of loop the killer, make him get stuck on the scarecrow and whatnot and get a little flustered, a little frustrated there. But let's go back to the pro loop spot that I was talking about here. Right when you spawn in. So say you're working on generator here. You run out door over here. So we got generator. Run out door here. Killer pulled up. I turn into barrel. That's my favorite thing to turn into while in this room. Because it has 140 HP. So you'll take less damage if the killer hits you. Let's say we're running away. Oh god, no. Killer's coming for me. Jump on top of hay barrel right here. And then you got nice little, nice little pro hop here that most people don't know about. One, two. Boom. We're up top here. Guess what? Killer's down there. If killer, it, most killers can't get up here. Uh, I think one. I think the the nun could probably fly up here, but that's if her charges aren't already used. You know, there's there's a number of different reasons. Most of them will just go inside. They'll have to go all the way up and around, and at at which point you can just like, you know, dictate where you're going. Are you going back down? Oh, just kidding. Coming back up. They assume that you went down. They go out and around. Um, are we gonna loop in here? Let's start moving around in here. Oh, guess what? Boop. Killer can't come up here. Has to go all the way around. Little pro, little pro loops. The barn is pretty, is pretty OD, baby. Pretty OD. But again, you always wanna, you always kind of just wanna run corn. Corn is just so strong, and it's just so easy to to lose the killer and whatnot in corn, going rock and whatnot. So uh, definitely, yeah. Let me know if this helped you out. You got a little, you got a little. You, now you know the barn stuff. Little pro play move, little hoppity hop from up there into the window. Uh, you know what to transform into. And uh, yeah, let's show you all on the next map one of my favorite pro pro loop spots. All right, so this is the spawn point in which everyone spawns on. Usually everyone goes here, first gen. You got it, you're working on it. Oh no, killer's coming. Let's start moving. Let's start moving. We're going to head this way. I already started as a can just because uh, it's easy. You get it. You get, there's a book in that room. You could be a book, whatever. Also, don't forget, look at that range, bro. I turned into book from here. That's a lot of feet of range. Look at that shit. I could tell. Oh, just remember, you got lots of fucking range when when transforming into items. Anyway, uh, we got we got soda can here, right, chat? All right, cool, cool, cool. We got the loops here. Killer followed you upstairs. You're here, you're here. Guess what? Oh, killer's coming. Jump downstairs. Boom. Chill right here. Killer jumps down, knows you jump down here. Boop. Let me just jump right back upstairs. Also, it's very easy to do this as if you were downstairs getting looped by the killer. You come into this room. You uh, you quickly change into soda can. Shift to reset. Double jump right back up. You got to be quick with it. The killer can hit you. And if you have low health as a soda can, well, it's not very good. And sometimes you will mess up and run into sh crap all around. But... Once you get it, once you get it down, let me tell you how this is so OD to lose killers. Because now you're upstairs, they have no way of getting upstairs, and you could just, you know, you could just whatever, you know, you could just whatever. Got a beer can over there. Why wouldn't there be two candles on this table? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Sorry, doggo wants some attention. But yeah, so that's my little pro pro strat for this match specifically. You know, turn into small item. It only works with small items. Keep that in mind. And you can mess it up very easily. So you got to work on it. You could easily hit your head on that little freaking top part. It'll just keep bumping you down. But once you get it down, it is very, very strong. Even I, having so many hours and practicing it so much, I still mess that up many of times. But yeah, that's my little pro pro loop for this for this map. Uh, just so you know, like when you're working on these gens and whatnot, always look for a big fat item to turn into so you can tank more damage when the killer pulls up. So like these chairs, I believe they only have like 80 or 100 health. 
But if you look, this chair looks a little different, doesn't it? It looks a little thicker. It looks a little sturdier. Well, guess what? This chair has 120 or 140 health. Don't quote me. I can't remember right now at the moment. And it's not showing me. But yeah, let's see all know. Keep that in mind. Uh, bigger items, better items. On this map, one of my favorite big things to turn into is the bunny. The bunny has 200 health. You could tank so many hits, and you could really mess with the killer. And yes, you can boop the killer's head as a bunny. Yes, you can. <laughs> yes, you can. Do not forget that. It is so good. I mean, where's bunny room? Bunny room's over here, isn't it? I love bunny room. Bunny room is my favorite because do you know how many bunnies are in this room, chat? One, two, three, four, uh, five six seven eight nine there are nine bunnies in here it's so easy to just we're just having a little bit of tea sir there's also a piece of shit on the table i don't know why it's pretty funny though also like oh we're just talking we're just girlfriends talking we're doing our thing three bunnies on the bed nothing nothing mysterious here and this is the big bunny i was telling you all about that you can easily boop the killer yeah, it's best to do it sideways because Bunny's too tall to double jump and stand up. So you, you go sideways and you jump at him. It, it is difficult to boop with such a big item in, in such a such a small area. But it is doable. It is doable to boop him. And it, you could tank like four hits before the boop even has to happen, you know. Uh, also, sofa chairs are very thick. Very thick in health. Uh, the amount of health sofa chairs have is... Uh, actually very strong uh so definitely one of the one of the things you want to turn into quite often it's something i always turn into on this map as well uh and let's go next map this is the usual spawn site for camp uh most people will go to generator over here first uh for me i usually like going cafeteria it's one of my favorite places to go and i will show you why because one of the best transformations is in there uh <laughs> so you know da 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 i'm working on the gen you know do 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 working on the gen Working on the gen. Killer comes in. Oh, no. What am I going to do? What do I transform into? There's a chicken. Chicken has like 40 or 60 health. Bottle. No. I don't know how much health that has, but let me tell you. You know what else there is? A fucking bear. <laughs> and this bear has a lot of health. It's just like the bunny on house. So you can turn into bear. You can maul the killer. Killer can get mauled by a bear. I kind of love that for us. You boop him in the head. It's difficult to do standing up, so you always want to go sideways. Uh, sometimes I like to get wild. I'll take bear with me. Uh, you will get fat shame though. Remember that. So you kind of have to reposition. Jesus Christ. This is difficult. There we go. And we're out. So yeah, you can become a bear and get mauled. But one of my favorite places to loop here. Let's get right to it. I just wanted to show you all my favorite transformation there. And uh, how, how, how strong it is because of how much health bear has. Bear has like 180 health. So, working on this gen and whatnot, say we start having to loop the killer here, jump the fence, turn into can. Oh, snap. I'm can now. And we're going. And we're going. And we're looping. We're going back in. You have doors you can use here and whatnot. Then you can also just... Sorry. I should have been a lot cleaner. But you can also go top bunk here. Top bunk is one of the best plays you could do. Uh, to make it really believable, you always go book and whatnot, chat. Go book. Go top bunk. And just sit on it. Uh, it, it's so good. Once you turn a corner like this one, you turn into book, you go top bunk. It's very difficult for the killer to know where you went. And, you know, just, just make that make it believable. Uh, even if you don't make it believable, say you were the little grub right there. You know, you turn in the grub. Let me tell you how hard it is to see a grub in the corner right here, chilling next to the pillow. I don't think he's going to see you. I don't think he's going to see you. So <laughs> we're chilling in this corner next to this pillow. Let me tell you, I don't think the killer is going to be able to find you. So this is kind of an OP spot. Uh, don't tell nobody. Uh, God dang it. Can't get out. All right, there we go. Uh, so yeah, that's one. Of, that's, that's basically one of my, my favorite loops. These two these two um, cabins have some insane potential for some for some uh, get out get out of get out of jail free cards right here. You know. Uh, but yeah, I believe that's going to be it for this map. I'm trying to remember. I don't. Well, last but not least, we have the map Abbey. Now we just spawned in. This is usually where you're always going to be spawning on Abbey. Uh, most players either go to that gen or they go to the gen right inside of there. I like this gen a lot because you have a door here, so it gives you a lot more possibility to do stuff. But this gen has to be probably my favorite. Uh, Loop-wise on Abbey, you probably won't get anything until you go to that side of the map by church. Uh, but here... You're working on the gen, la da da la oh no, killer's coming. Well, guess what? Time to turn into a white knight. 
I'll show you some shining armor, you know what I'm saying? This thing has 180 health. It is amazing. It is difficult to maneuver, but don't worry. After the killer hits you one time, you literally just have... You see where the knees cut off? And then the top of the, the waist is? That's literally all it turns into. After one hit, you lose all of that, and you become such an easier, much more mobile character, and you still have 140 health after a swing. Uh... Oh, you start at 180, so uh, one swing is fine. You could boop the killer very easily. Uh, this is one of the strongest items on this map, uh, indeed. I don't think there's any other item out there. And there's plenty of knights around. You always want to know where your knights are at for when you have full health. Or even when you don't have full health, being able to tank that extra hit is so huge. There's a knight there. There is another knight there. Plenty of knights all around. Uh, now, when we're talking about loops... Uh, well, we got that generator. We got here. We got two doors here. We got the loops and whatnot. But probably the best area for looping is going to be right here because you can jump over these hedges. And uh, it, it's so strong to, to be able to just jump over a hedge where the killer has to go around it. Because then you can just keep on jumping back and forth and killer really can't do anything about it. You know, he comes from one side. You jump this way. Oh, I jump back over the hedge. And then once, he, once you break line of sight... You know, say you come around this corner and then you double jump over the hedge and he didn't see you. And you just ride, you hide right into a bush. Right into the little bush, you know. Make sure you're a small object. Mushrooms probably work best for this little loop right here. Mushrooms are very easy to find. They're like right here. So, yeah. That's probably the best area to loop for, for here, for sure. I believe there's a turd in the bushes here. Yeah, you can go turd and just sit up here. The killer... Is very unlikely to find you right, right here as a little, sh as a little turd. So that's uh, that's pretty great. Uh, Barrel's got a good amount of health. Barrel's a really strong item to turn into as well. I believe they got like 130, 140 health, and whatnot. Um, no real little pro uh, jump up loops that I know of on this map. Not that I've learned or looked at and trying to figure out. One of my favorite loops is this one though for sure. Cause you got this door here. It's just so strong. Especially if you time your jumps correctly. Look at that. Look at look at the distance. Then you just then you just sit here as a mushroom. Just big chilling. But man, the distance you get for going around these corners. Just make sure you're constantly turning your camera as you double jump. Look at the look at that. Look at the complete like oh oh you know you go straight and then you go back. It, it's the the fact that you can completely change an angle. Oh man, you could bait killers so well with that. It's so fun. Uh, but yeah, that's probably going to be it for this map. Uh, if you like the video, uh, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, specifically subscribe. Uh, if you got any more questions or if you know any other good loops that you want me to go over, feel free to tell me down in the comments. And we'll see you on the next one.